might be a placebo. I don't know. But yeah, I here we go. Still play, bro. Wow, is this it? Do we got is this a hand warmer? This is a this is not a hand warmer. They're going right into it. We got versus zero the thief versus versus smiles. <laughs> smiles not going with Fox. Smiles going Falco for this matchup. Probably opting to uh, play a more range game. Lock Peach down. Probably not as confident as with Fox up close with uh, against Peach. You know. Yeah. Because uh, getting caught in that down smash is definitely not a good thing. Oh, yeah. Playing with lasers will keep him from uh, having to stay too close there. Yeah. Just keep it at a distance in general. And, and the th Ooh, Ooh, and the SD. Wow. Smiles is a signature SD where he's, <laughs> he's doing nothing wrong, and then all of a sudden he just kills himself. Right, that was a saw dare, but didn't get a... Gets shield grabbed out of that non-jump cancel shine. Nice, punishes Dating the down that smash. down smash. Nice. Gets the forward smash. And that'll take the stock. Yeah, it was nice. So yeah, the thing about Peach's down smash, it's so unpredictable sometimes that if you're if you're not aware of which direction you're DIing or which which part of the down smash you get hit by, really you could go in any direction. You can hit the floor, you can just fly to the right. You can just fly off stage. You could just it. fly off stage. There it goes. That, there you go. Right off stage. Ooh, it doesn't nice get the angle. edge guard. Goes above Peach's float. That was very smart. Peach Ooh, definitely not. playing this uh, waiting game, kind of just waiting for him to get in close, hitting mm -hmm. him with that down smash and punishing him off stage. Which I don't think Smiles should be risking it at this point, especially since he's behind in stocks. I feel like he should just be um, lasering and racking it up because it, it doesn't look like Zero the Thief is making as much of an effort as getting close to him as Smiles is, and I think it should be the other way around, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice. Punishes the spot dodge with a sick back air. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, nice tech reads. Nice. Nice combo so far. 51 damage. Nice. Reads the tech the reads smash. don't stop until he gets grabbed. Until he misses the shine and gets grabbed out of it. Nice. Misses the dare, but covers that with a forward, forward smash. smash. And that's going to be the stock. Nice. Smiles bringing it back. Oh, yeah. Pretty subpar DI from Zero the Thief on that last back air, but... Actually doesn't miss the shine this time, and catches him with the up air. Dude, you like that? I love the, the single hit up air, and, and he just like lands super quick and... Just that sound effect, it's just like... Dude, uh. right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't hit with the second one, just the first one. So good. Oh, and oh, the SD my again. goodness, Smiles, come on, come on smiles, pick it up, Stop dude. SDing. Smiles, you got Shoot this. him with your gun. Dude, that's my favorite advice for Spacey's. Shoot him with your gun. Oh my goodness, reverse up smash, and he gets the forward throw. Reads the shield. Zero the gets the shine before the down smash. Yep. And he gets grabbed right out of it down air. Doesn't punish that down smash in time. Ooh, this is the scary part is that you have to weave around that down smash. In fact, you have to weave around a lot of Peach's moves. The thing about Peach is a lot of her aerials and stuff, they're uh, disjointed. It's funny as it might sound. Peach has very disjointed and strong aerials that scale really well with percent. So, she's relatively a really safe character if played well. I agree. Ooh, nice jab, but... Oh my goodness, this is scary. It's, all, it's a last-hit scenario right now. Ooh, nice double jab. Well, he read I, this. I don't think he meant to go for the rapid kick. Okay, the back air, and that's nice. Death. Kills him with the back air off the top. So, do we have, like, the score up here? Go, uh, go to this one right here. Oh, no, we got looks like we don't. Here. I guess it just pulls. Yep. It's just the pulls bracket. Pulls it is. And we're going to Battlefield. All right. I actually uh, like this pick from Zero to the Thief. Really? Um, I think this is a better pick for Falco. I mean, he he obviously banned Dreamland. Otherwise, he would have gone to Dreamland, right? Yeah. Uh, Final D, I feel Falco can control him from a distance. And... I just feel like the majority of Final Leaf Falco has the advantage. And then, um, Yoshi's definitely in Falco's favor, and he, and he doesn't want to go back to Fountain, so this is probably the second best stage, you know? Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, catch him with the laser, are you going to come back from this? Definitely not. Just an all-around really safe stage. You see Smiles playing a lot more safer this time around. Yeah, definitely doesn't want to uh, end up killing himself, costing him a match. Yeah, kind of just playing around him. 
Hitting him with a couple lasers here and there, just trying to jump in, but not really committing too much to staying too close to him. Ooh, that was so nice, but he doesn't get the kill. Nice DI from Zero the Thief. That, um... Yeah, that, that, oh, oh jumped wow. right into the down smash. Cannot challenge Peach from under her. That dress is made of knives. But the thing about a tournament mindset is that um, it's, it's a commonly accepted idea that in tournament you can't go for those risks as much as you would in friendlies. Oh, yes, sir. How do we do it?